My guest today is the journalist and human rights defender Idraki Abbasov. Welcome to our studio. Thank you. Well, recently the employees of Binagade Oil Company brought down the house belonging to your parents and brothers in Sulutapa settlement, citing you didn't have registration for the property. In addition to your parents, your brother, his spouse and their children were physically assaulted when they rejected. Your mother Naima Gulieva and brother Adalat Abbasov and also father Ter Man Abbasov are still receiving treatment at the hospital. How did the incident happen and what was the reason? Thank you for inviting me to this program. So, on September 9th, four athletic-looking men driving a Neva car once again entered my family's yard and insulted my family. My parents, brothers, and their spouses were all beaten with batons, and the house was demolished using excavator. They first beat my brother Adalat Abbasov, and when my mother attempt to defend him. She was also beaten by the men, and she became unconscious. They also used obscene words against my mother, hearing about this incident. My father, Telman Abbasov, also arrived at the scene. He was very excited, and when he attempted to figure out what was happening at this house, he was also assaulted by the man, and as he was a diabetic patient, he lost his consciousness. After the neighbor's interference, they ran away from the area. All of our neighbors have witnessed the incident happened at the house. Well, what is the reason for destruction of the house? Was there any official decision by the court or a warning about destruction? Well, there are different reasons. I want to give an explanation about the reasons. So, the Tepes settlement where my parents' house was located was situated in the area of Binagade Oil Company. Since 2005, it has been called Binagade Oil, and a lot of construction work was carried out in the area, especially after Coca-Cola plant was built, there was an increase in the number of construction work. But beginning from 2005, they began the company, began destruction work in the area, especially near the oil wells. However, no destruction work was carried out at our area. But now they came to my parents' house and demolished it. I consider that this is because of my journalistic activities, because I faced some pressures when I wrote articles regarding demolition work carried out near the settlement. So before the incident you faced threats. Of course, I have repeatedly faced pressures. Who put pressures on you? I don't know the names exactly, but they were the employees of oil company. At present, we appeal to court, and I will try to figure out their names during court proceedings. The clinic hospital reports that your brother was severely injured. He has brain traumatic injury, and your mother also had brain traumatic injury. Has a criminal case been launched regarding the case? And the men are the men that have beaten your family free, or they have been detained? After the incident, we appeal to police station. Therefore, they began to carry out investigation into causes of the incident. The police were at my parents' house, carried out examination, took photos, questioned neighbors about the incident, and wrote protocol about the incident. They also went to the clinic hospital and interested about the incident. By the way, due to inadequate medical treatment, I had to take my brother and mother to a private clinic. My father's treatment is continuing in city hospital number 4. However, my mother's situation is not good, but my brother is, sti is getting well, and my father will leave the hospital today or tomorrow. I talked to investigator and he said that everything is ready and he will present all the documents to the prosecutor's office to launch a criminal case against those persons. And it's a fact that the criminals are still free and so far my relatives and family have been threatened by them. What did they say to you? They stopped my se me several times when going home and told me to be clever. Before they met my brother and told him that not to publicize that and they also said that they will pay for the damage and he was told tell your brother to be clever or he will punish him. And we didn't pay attention to them and of course began to publicize those problems because my family have been assaulted and I must write about it. Seeing that they can't prevent us from publicizing, they began to threat us. Regarding this, I appealed to the president and also media council. At the same time, 
Ejinshkla, editor-in-chief of the Zerkala newspaper, which I'm working at, appealed to National Security Ministry. I must do that because they threaten my family. I'm concerned about my family's safety. You said that you appealed to related authorities to provide safety for you and your family. However, there is no result. Are you continuing to receive threats? How many threats have you received and when was that? On September 20th, 20, at 22.30, two men driving a Neva car stopped me on my way home and threatened me. And on September 21st, athletic-looking man driving a Neva car once again entered my family's yard and insulted my brother. Then on September 23rd, once again, they entered my parents' house and told them that to tell me to be clever or they will cut my ear. This is really injustice. The problem, this problem must be solved. Also, the police received a complaint against me under charge of hooliganism and another one against my brothers, Vagif Abbasov and Raman Abbasov, under charge of physical. However, we have a lawyer who is involved in our case, and Major Rights Institute lawyer Elchen Sadegov is representing my family. And it's very strange that the lawyer Elchen Sadegov is being charged with Kovdia Tab. Unfortunately, this is really sad. Regarding the issue, we were searching for a lawyer. However, there is no lawyer because restrictions are put on them. They are pressured and prevent from doing their work. This is really sad. Thank you for the interview. My guest today was the journalist and human rights defender Idraki Abbasov.